Hi, everybody, and welcome to Tate's Creek High School. I'm Jeff Bacor alongside of Forrest Tucker, and it's our game of the week tonight. Tate's Creek and Frederick Douglass from our Mickey Beef Jerky and Clark's Pump and Shop game of the week. And uh, I'll tell you what, there has been no city team. This is an amazing <laughs> step, Forrest. Is. There has been no city team, public or private, that have ever beaten Frederick Douglass. Could this be the game? I don't know about that. I'll just say that right <laughs> off the bat. I'm sorry, Sterling Modern, but, uh, you know, Darnell Burnside, the quarterback, you know, who we used to play receiver yep, yep. here at Taste Creek, he's a pretty good one, so I'm sure that there's going to be a little bit of run for their money tonight here, Frederick Douglass coming into a uh, very storied stadium here. Well, let, let's talk about Frederick Douglass sure. first. This is a team that's one and two, but the reason they're one and two, they played three yeah. straight state champions, correct? That's pretty crazy when you start with, with the likes of Bowling Green, and you also have Trinity. Corbin coming up later, you know, yeah. Trinity, yeah, out of Louisville. So it does really get easier. This is maybe an easier game, but they pick right back up and play a lot of hard teams later in the season. What do we like about Frederick Douglass? And the first thing that I noticed when I did our, our ABC mm -hmm. 36 Blitz was they don't have the great size. They don't have that those monsters up front that they used to. They've got great yeah. speed, yes. but they don't have the bigs, right? Well, the rushing attack has been really, really good so far this season. Everyone's looking to perform. It's a by-committee effort, and I think it's a really good sign, but also a little bit of a concern because Jackson Strawman, the junior quarterback, hasn't really hit his stride mm -hmm. yet. He's had a lot of sub-100-yard passing games. This kind of eats me up right here. The wind is a bit of a pain right now on Center Parkway, but that's my assessment in short. Yeah, you know, Stratman last year was forced as a as a 10th grader yeah. to start the season once their uh, starting quarterback had hurt his elbow, and uh, so Stratman was thrown into the mix and did okay. I mean, yes. he did okay for a 10th grader. He's got that seasoner. It's helped, but as you said, he's just not physically as mature no. as I think you'd like to see at Frederick Douglass. Yeah, exactly. I think that that's just something that Nate McPeak and, of course, Brian Landis, who's mm -hmm. back in town, yeah. Richmond, uh, with the UWG Wolves, has definitely hung their hat on, is, is having size everywhere, having dominance everywhere, and that's what you can get out of Frederick Douglass. So, you know, tonight probably is a really cool quarterback battle. Darnell yeah. Burnside, like I mentioned a second ago, has transitioned after Andrew Witherington, that three-year starter, graduated, and he's impressed. He's thrown almost 400 yards of passes, and we're through three games of the season. Yeah, what I really like about what Coach Hawks has done here at Tate's Creek is he's made them relevant again. Yeah. Because for a lot of years, and there are a couple city teams that are like that, but Coach Hawks came in, and he, he was a longtime track coach here at Tate's Creek. He became the head coach at football, and he brought this, this style of play, and, and what, he, what he did is... He, he got these kids to buy into what yeah. he was trying to sell. And once you can do that and get the kids playing for each other and for the name on the front, not the name on the yeah. back of their jersey, then you're going to do okay. They're 2-1 and one this year. That, that's a huge step exactly. forward for Tate's Creek. They won the district last year. Can they win it again? I think it's all on Burnside, don't you? Well, I believe so. He's going to be after the leader of this team. It's really interesting. Like you mentioned, you have a 1-2 and two Frederick Douglass team and then a 2-1 and one Tate's Creek team. We're kind of thinking, what universe is this in yeah. Lexington football? But I think we're going to see a quarterback battle tonight. We're going to see a rushing and passing attack that's going to be really cool to watch for our yeah. game of the week. Yep, and Tate's Creek, their junior class is actually, so this is a year away from where they thought they would be mm, okay. because they have a huge and very deep and talented junior class, does Coach Hawks. All right, we'll preview more of this game when we come back to you at 620. But for now, he's Forrest Tucker. I'm Jeff Pecoro.